वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अ टॉपिक रिलेटेड टू द प्लांट मॉर्फोलॉजी एंड दैट इज नॉन एज द इंसेशन ऑफ फ्लोरल लीव्स ऑन द थेलेमस फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू मस्ट नो दैट व्हाट आर द फ्लोरल लीव्स एज वी नो वेरी वेल दैट देर आर फोर वर्ल्ड्स इन अ फ्लावर कैलेक्स कोरोला एंड्रोशियम एंड गाइनोशियम सो टुडे वी विल बी स्टडिंग द इंसेशन ऑफ द फ्लोरल लीव्स ऑन द थेलेमस नाउ व्हाट वी वांट टू स्टडी टुडे based on the position of based on the position of the calyx corolla and the androecium in respect of the ovary on the thalamus the flowers are categorized into how many types three types what i want to say based on the position of based on the position of calyx corolla and androecium that is the three worlds of the flower in respect of the ovary on the thalamus the flowers can be categorized into three hypogynous perigynous and epigynous flower what we want to say here that in comparison to the other floral parts on the thalamus the position of the ovary is regularly changing the position of the ovary is not fixed right in comparison to the other floral parts on the thalamus the position of the ovary is regularly changing and on this behalf on this behalf we can say that flowers are of three types hypogynous flower perigynous flower and epigynous flower now very first hypogynous flower what is a hypogynous flower a hypogynous flower is a flower in which the ovary is occupying the highest position ovary is occupying or we can say that gynoecium is occupying the highest position while all the other worlds of the flower or all the floral parts other floral parts such as the calyx corolla and the androecium are situated below the gynoecium okay once again i am repeating when gynoecium occupies the top position when gynoecium is occupying the highest position and all the other three worlds of the flower that is known as the calyx corolla and the androecium okay are situated are situated below the gynoecium then such a flower will be called as a hypogynous flower now the question arises that what is the position of the ovary in such a uh, flower because just now i have said that we will be focusing the position we will be focusing the position of the ovary right because based on the position of the ovary only we are studying here the three types of the flower so here you can see that the position of ovary is topmost means ovary is superior ovary is superior it is present at the top position and all the floral parts are arising from the base of the ovary such type of the hypogynous flower such type of the hypogynous flower is present in mustard china rose brinjal etc okay so this was the flower known as the hypogynous flower now this hypogynous condition this hypogynous condition when we will be studying the plant families so to to demonstrate to show the hypogynous flower we use this sign okay we write g and put a slash below it okay it represents what it represents what the superior ovary to represent superior ovary we use this sign g and a slash below it okay now coming to the second flower that is known as what the perigynous flower now what is a perigynous flower here the gynoecium is situated here the gynoecium is situated at the center here the gynoecium is situated at the center of the cup like thalamus what is the peculiar feature of this flower that here the thalamus you can see that the thalamus become cup shape and in this cup like thalamus the gynoecium is situated at the center and all the floral parts all the other floral parts known as the calyx and the corolla and the gynoecium are actually located on the rim of the thalamus almost at the same level you can see that the thalamus has become cup shape the ovary is situated at the center in this cup shape thalamus and all the other three floral parts calyx corolla and androecium are actually are actually arising from the rim of the thalamus at almost same level okay and such a flower will be called as perigynous flower now what is the position of what is the position of the ovary in such a flower so the position of the ovary in such a flower is half inferior it is half inferior and to represent the half inferior condition we write like this g 
and put a slash at the center. We will be not putting the slash here, we will be not putting the slash at the base, we will be putting the slash here in between. Okay, so this is representing what the half inferior condition. This is representing half inferior condition. Now the question arises that perigynous flower is present. Uh, perigynous flower is present in which category of the plants so it is found in plum peach and rose this is very important at least two to three times question is asked in the neat okay from here that uh, what type of the flower is present in peach plum and rose so you must know that perigynous flower is present now coming to the epigynous condition epigynous condition is just the opposite of the hypogynous condition okay in epigynous condition what happens that the thalamus the margin of the thalamus grows upward okay and it grows upward in such a way that it encloses the ovary completely or entirely again i am repeating here what happens the margin the margin of the thalamus the margin of the thalamus grows upwards in such a way that it encloses the entire ovary completely and the wall of the thalamus and the wall of the thalamus get fused with the wall of the ovary get fused with the wall of the ovary and you can see in this diagram in this flower you can see that the all the other floral parts that is known as the calyx corolla and the gynosium right Cal calyx corolla and the androsium calyx corolla and the androsium are occupying at the top position means i want to say that floral parts arise from the above portion of the ovary it means that ovary ovary is occupying the least position ovary is occupying the least position right here you can see that ovary was occupying the highest position okay so now the question arises that what is the position of the ovary here so the position of the ovary in the epigynous flower is inferior inferior ovary means what that ovary is at the base ovary is at the base it is at the least position and all the floral other parts that is known as the calyx corolla and the androsium are arising from the top of the ovary such a flower will be called as epigynous flower so in hypogynous flower the ovary is superior in perigynous flower the ovary is half inferior and in epigynous flower the ovary is inferior which is represented like this type we write g and put a slash about this g this is representing what the epigynous condition so this was all about the insertion of the floral leaves on the thalamus you must also know that in a epigynous flower right epigynous flower are present in the following plants say for the cucumber guava and the sunflower okay and here we have discussed the comparison yani we have discussed based on the position of the calyx corolla and the endosium in respect of the ovary on thalamus right we have this uh, we have discussed this thing or we can say that we have studied in comparison to the other floral parts on the thalamus we have studied the position of the ovary okay keep watching my videos we will be coming soon with new videos thanks a lot